so originally Pehle? only the the pure self exists even before it took the name god or brahman or allah or shiva or pure consciousness it alone exists even now then to manifest itself it manifests all the forms first the creation of the elements and the subsequent shape of each form and in the form it infuses itself in its dynamic portrait the sense i am the knowingness that is in each one and the sense I am mm-hmm. is the announcement of consciousness inside the farm. Yes. It just causes it to be. Subsequently, this I amness at the potential to identify with the body and the conditioning where the body is living and the consciousness I am, which is not a person, it is the dynamic self the conscious presence of God took on the self-portrait called I am this body, I am this person. The original cause of all of this is the pure self. Nirgun Brahman expressing as Sagun Brahman. As soon as the I am painted a portrait of itself called I, me, personality is born. Yes. And this sense of personality, the consciousness is experiencing the world first through the sense of personality. I am this person. It will experience like this for a time. In human time, sometimes a very long time, lifetimes even. It must mature through these expressions until consciousness causes itself to begin to question its assumption that it is a person. We have been we are this awareness itself. Wearing the mask called I am this person. The mask of God. Ishwar Kamakhota. Yes. Person, personality is effectively the mask of God. When we awaken to the truth of ourself, the world doesn't uh, vanish as an appearance. Just what you, t- what you took it to be, maybe that vanish. And what it is, is perceived. As a form of God, basically. So don't wait for the personality to go. Personality ke jane ka intazar mat karo. It vanishes in its insignificance to you. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, I will start with the thing where you say that uh, we are appearing in their dream and telling you that the dream you are experiencing in the dream state and the waking state are both dreams. A dream is not a dream because you're flying about and all this kind of stuff. What it means by dream is that whatever you are experiencing is subjective. First thing. Just like each night, maybe you go to bed, maybe you're sleeping next to your partner or your children or whatever. If you have a dream, a very unique dream, you have a dream you are not able to share this dream with anyone simultaneously. You cannot plug in like you have headphones and you say, darling, listen, whoa, let's experience this together. Because even if that were possible, the fact that each one is experiencing subjectively, even if the the phenomenon appearing is exactly the same, the way of experiencing it will be unique. The meaning of anything is not inherent in the thing. 
the meaning of anything exists in the mind of the one perceiving it or experiencing it. So it is a unique experience. Even for the same person, another moment, a dream may come again, similar, but it will be again unique. In the same way that our nightly dream is unique experience, our living day is also a unique experience, uniquely to that particular individual. So therefore, the way in which we are experiencing, when we experience things, it's always subjective. We talk about it being objective, but it is very, very much uh, subjective. Subjective means here that it is quite personal, it's very unique. We are feeling that I am the subject, we feel I am the subject, and the world with all of its people are objects to me. I am experiencing an objective world. But really, the true subject is the self. The personal subject is the pseudo-self, not the real self. When seeing from a true place, the person also, the personal uh, uh, subject uh, and its object are both objects to a higher seeing. I'm sorry I have to say all this thing in these words. What it means is that how we are perceiving the world is very unique from day to day, even in the same unit or body of consciousness. Therefore, the harmony that human beings are speaking about, about us being all one and stuff, cannot be a harmony that comes together from our mental projections and ideas. Because you cannot control this. It is always fluctuating. However much people fantasize that they can harmonize, momentary apparent harmonies happen. But continuous harmony can only happen when you have transcended the limitation of personhood. That is the place in which we truly exist. Oh, he said the mind also seems to be um, existing or multitasking or experiencing on different levels simultaneously. Okay, That you can be watching TV and at the same time uh, talking to a friend or something like this or something else is happening. All that. And how amazing that however diverse the mind functions are, there is an above awareness of all of them. That awareness itself is not doing anything. It is not existing on different levels, but whatever is appearing on different levels is spontaneously and effortlessly perceived. So don't worry about trying to understand the mind. If you know yourself as the awareness, everything is fine. Because wherever the mind is going, actually, is not really going anywhere. It is just playing, and if your attention gets there, yeah, of course, true mind. Mind is an aspect of consciousness also. You may call it the names and forms department of consciousness. Once it's, you come to a realization of the self, then the mind itself, which is playing as a friend and foe to the personal identity shaped by consciousness, once we come to that understanding that there is no such thing actually, my person has become my myth. I am the one who is aware of even person, personality, and personality's obsessions. They don't mean anything anymore because you have evolved to a higher state of consciousness, like that. Then these things will not anymore leave any footprints in the consciousness. The last question is now, because I seem to have a, a challenge on focus of my attention. Yes. How do I, you know? Okay, I'll answer any... that. If there's a challenge to focus your attention, some people said, bring your attention back to awareness and do this with your thing, keep your attention on this and so on. I want to tell you something about attention. Attention is one of your great powers. Because wherever attention goes and contacts, that you are registering as your experience. But I want to say something also. You are more subtle than attention, because you are aware of the, the restlessness of attention sometimes. 
the difficulty to keep attention, all of this is watched by you also. That is another, a deeper in attention. That which is aware that attention is fluctuating, attention is restless. How can I control attention? You see? So don't give too much about that. More register that whether attention is still or erratic is perceived. And stay in the energy of that which is able to perceive even the subtlety of the movements of attention. Do you get this or not? I say again, attention is moving and sometimes people say, bring your attention to awareness. But you are the awareness. What happens is attention wants to go to bananas, okay? And you want it to stay here, I say, but it keeps going to bananas. I say, try, and, try and bring it here. But you are here. Unless you feel you are not here, only when you bring the attention to here will you be here. That is an idea appearing in here. You see? And in hearing this, because you need to hear it, you can acknowledge, but I am just here. Hi, who is here? Personally? No, personally is like sometimes with the attention and person is gone. But that which can never not be here remains as it is and is now aware of its own self. So when you know this, the secondary attention that, that will start to come under the government of this deeper understanding. There's nothing more subtle than you as pure consciousness. Even attention, even the power to believe or to disbelieve or to conceive, all these powers are secondary and harmonious in yourself. The self is not a thing that can experience changes within itself. All change it causes to manifest through the various regions of activity that it designates to express like that. All of this is to point out what you are not, what we are not, and to understand our powers. In fact, even what we are not, we are. Can I take a risk and talk like that? <laughs> that which is playing as knowledge and ignorance all comes from the Self. There is only the Self. Even the non-Self is the Self. There is only the Self. There is only the True. There is only, you want to call it, the God. There is only the Totality. The consciousness is conversing with consciousness about consciousness. <laughs>